On the 5th of December 1945, 14 Navy airmen left Florida and took to the skies on what was supposed to be a routine training exercise, known as Flight 19. But one hour and 45 minutes into their journey, the flight's leader, Lieutenant Charles Taylor, radioed the control tower alerting them that something was dreadfully wrong. Taylor reported that all three of his compasses had malfunctioned. He said, We don't know which way is west. Everything is wrong. Even the ocean doesn't look as it should. Flying over the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean in what's now called the Bermuda Triangle, Flight 19 was never seen again. Later that same evening, a search plane was sent in a desperate attempt to locate the missing flight. But just 27 minutes after takeoff, the search plane and its 13-man crew also became lost to the Bermuda Triangle. Surreal activities in the Bermuda Triangle have been reported since 1492, when the crew of explorer Christopher Columbus edged ever closer to what he would call the New World. Columbus's log reported seeing strange lights, whilst the sea took on an eerie calm before rising high without wind. He also noted that the ship's compass gave erratic readings, which panicked the already restless crew. Situated between Florida, Bermuda and Puerto Rico, the name Bermuda Triangle was coined by author Vincent Gaddis in a 1964 article in the magazine Argosy to explain the perceived phenomenon of airplanes and ships going missing without a trace and without explanation. He was compelled by mysteries like Flight 19 and the USS Cyclops, which got lost at sea off the coast of Barbados in 1918, resulting in the loss of 306 lives, the biggest loss of life in US Navy history not related to combat. Gaddis reported that the Bermuda Triangle is a true mystery and that even the US Navy, the Air Force and the Coast Guard investigators have admitted they are baffled by it. In the last century alone, 1,000 ships and planes have disappeared without a trace within the 500,000 square miles of the Bermuda Triangle. Despite no wreckages to provide evidence, there are endless theories about the disastrous paranormal mechanisms involved in the Bermuda Triangle. The area surrounding the Bermuda Triangle has one of the highest incidences of UFO sightings, which has led some conspiracy theorists to conclude that missing aircraft fall victim to alien abductions, or are even absorbed by portals to other dimensions. This has been suggested in explaining the story of the Ellen Austin, an American vessel that found a deserted schooner on the Atlantic Ocean. In order to capture the schooner for themselves, members of crew from the Ellen Austin agreed to man the ship back to shore, but during the journey, the two ships separated, and when they reunited, the schooner was once again deserted, the crew having once again vanished without a trace. Author Gian Kazar believes that electromagnetic anomalies in the area's atmosphere have been responsible for historic compass breakdowns. He describes the electronic fog as something that will seize the aircraft and travel with you. You are not flying into the fog, it is flying with you. Whilst some conspiracists look to the skies of the Bermuda Triangle for answers, others believe that the answers lie deep underwater. With the discovery in 1968 of the submerged rock formation known as the Bermini Road, after the island of Bermini, conspiracy theorists Paul Weinzweig and Pauline Zalitsky have come to believe that this formation is man-made and therefore evidence of the underwater city of Atlantis. It has been suggested that the planes and ships that have vanished in this area may have been affected by leftover technology from this empire, such as the ancient crystals thought to have powered the civilization. Despite the mysteries that surround the Bermuda Triangle, the US Coast Guard states that the majority of disappearances can be attributed to human error, or the area's unique natural features. And no studies have found conclusive evidence for unusual magnetic anomalies in the area. To complicate the issue, the Gulf Stream essentially acts as a river within the Atlantic Ocean, flowing through the Straits of Florida and into the North Atlantic. Its powerful current is a possible explanation for why there are no debris from ship and plane wreckages, which may be swept away by the strong waters, erasing any evidence of disaster. The tropical weather system in the Caribbean Atlantic can be unpredictable, and the Bermuda Triangle happens to cover the same area as Hurricane Alley, an area of warm water and high humidity which is the source of devastating storms and hurricanes. Also located within the Bermuda Triangle is the Puerto Rico Trench, the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean, 
where the seafloor is up to 28,373 feet deep. Suggesting any aircraft or ship destroyed in the Bermuda Triangle would sink so far from the surface, it would never be reached. Although the US government insists that the Bermuda Triangle doesn't exist, in 1964, the same year the term Bermuda Triangle was coined, the US government began construction of ORTEC, an underwater American base within the Bermuda Triangle, off the coast of the Bahamas. This base has further strengthened the suspicion that the area hosts mysterious properties. Since the 1960s, the US have used this base to conduct underwater tests, research and in-air tracking, raising questions about what exactly they are monitoring down there. Despite there being valid reasons to explain the apparent phenomenon of the Bermuda Triangle, the US Coast Guard argue that the area is one of the most heavily travelled shipping lanes in the world, and the disappearances in the area are, proportionally, no more frequent than anywhere else in the world. Meanwhile, some land areas that fall within the Bermuda Triangle don't appear to be affected at all by supernatural phenomena. But whether or not the Bermuda Triangle exists, it symbolises the reality that, despite all we know of the world, and despite all our advances in tracking devices, our world is still large enough for our ships and our planes to disappear without a trace. The Russian Empire never decides to sell Alaska to the Americans, and instead keeps it for themselves. Eventually, after centuries, there is a mass migration of ethnic Russians into North America, and the culture of Alaska becomes extremely Russian. 